Hello! Do you like electrical items? Do you like electrical items that have been returned to a shop? Do you like electrical items that probably don't even work anymore? Well, have I got the video for you? It's, it's, it's this one. You've, you've seen the title, haven't you? Yeah, so I was looking on eBay for weird listings and came across one for, well, returned electrical items. Basically, people have taken these back to a major supermarket here in the UK, specifically Asda, and said, this doesn't work, can I have my money back? And they've gone, yes, and given them their money back. Cool story, bro. But somehow they've ended up on eBay. So I bought them and they came to basically um, just over a pound each. We're going to say a pound each for ease of video. So the thing is, if you've ever worked retail, you will know that you do end up taking back quite a lot of items that might actually work because you just don't have time to test them. So you do have to just take the customer's word for it quite a lot of the time. And sometimes they've, I don't know, put it together wrong or used it wrong. Sometimes it is just faulty indeed. And well, that's what we're going to find out today. Because I may have paid a pound each for these items, but I might have got an amazing working bargain. Or indeed, I might have just paid a pound for something broken. We are going to go through ten of them and we're gonna see how the land lays. And here is item the first. He says, picking out a random thing from the box and getting his hand stuck in it. Here we are. It's a Bluetooth neck band. Um, this was apparently sold for 12 pounds and was just described as not working. Up to six hours playback time, maybe. Built-in mic with remote, Ooh, exciting. So, yeah, incidentally, all of these are quite seriously smashed up from a box point of view, because, you know, they've been pre-owned, haven't they? Here we go. Ooh, look at that. I don't know why I'm sounding so excited. I have actually opened this before and tested them. Yes, I've tested all these beforehand, again, for ease of video. So, um, earbuds and a big thing. These seem a bit, I don't know, not so necessary these days. These days, the wireless earbuds tend to have a um, the sort of battery and everything built into each one, don't they? Whereas this one is still using an older neck band style system. Let's uh, grab it out here. No more specifics than not working, which is a shame. So yeah, you put that around your neck, and then you put those in your ears, and then you press all these buttons and things happen. You've got power, answer calls. Focus. That's not a button on this. That's me shouting at the camcorder. Uh, backwards and forwards. Probably does volume as well. Maybe. I can't now bloody remember. And you charge it by this handy uh, USB-C. Ooh, socket there. That's something. Did it come with the USB-C cable? Yes. Here it is. We shall call it Billy. And one day he shall be Prince of all Denmark. But until then, get in the bloody corner. Uh, so the question is, does it work or does it not work? Have I made... Eleven pounds or lost one pound. Well, according to the sound machine, and I'm pressing the button so we know it's right. Yes! It worked perfectly. No answer to that. Maybe they just couldn't get it to pair via Bluetooth with whatever um you know device they're using. And they're alright. I mean they don't sound amazing, but they sound sort of competent, alright? And this is what the headphones sound like. Not much in the way of high frequencies, bit muffled. Also, to add another point about the headphones themselves, if you put the volume above about 75%, it gets really distorted really quickly. So we're off to a strong start. That's all very nice. Let's hope this trend continues. Oh, sorry, Billy, I need your instructions out of the way. Right, next up... A cable! Everybody's favourite, from Juice XXL. This packaging is 100% recycled and recyclable. Good for you. Um, it just says, don't char doesn't charge. That's a pretty good sign that the uh, cable here might be dead. So this is three metres, it's a long old one, compatible with Apple Lightning devices. Um, let me open it up like this. Here we go. And yeah, it's just a very long cable. Basically, three meters, very strong, well reinforced. It says juice on it if you like that sort of thing. Um, yeah, and there's no official uh, return thing for this. Just somebody has scrawled on the back of a till receipt. Doesn't charge. I mean, this is one of these things. There's not a lot to go wrong with cables, but if anything goes wrong, it's dead. <laughs> you know, if it gets kinked, if it's a bit thin on the wire in the middle, and it just doesn't make a connection, you ain't gonna have any joy whatsoever. But did we have any joy from this? The answer is yes! Uh, yeah, it worked perfectly. 
don't know, maybe it just didn't work with their phone, but I plugged it into an iPhone and an iPad and they both just charged. Which is good because you will notice, of course, that there is no receipt, so we don't know how much it was. I looked it up on Asda's site. £18. £18 for a bloody cable. I know it's a thick long one, but bloody hell. That's crazy, isn't it? That's... Um, hang on. To use a specific example, that's six pounds more than the Bluetooth headphones. God, aren't cables a bloody rip-off? Anyway, I got them one for a quid, so I'm happy. Anyway, you can go over there and it'll probably stop working in five minutes, because that's the way of the world, isn't it? Right, next item. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. I haven't seen one of these in forever. From On, which I think is Asda's own make. I was then going to say, and Asda are owned by Walmart these days, but I think Walmart sold Asda donkeys years ago. There we are. There's your story of the week. Walmart bought Asda, then they sold it later. <sighs> Exciting news here, isn't it? So, yeah, personal CD player. So what you do is... Oh, move that. Ow. Um, you, you plug it into the mains or stick your batteries in. Eject. Oh, God, it's so cheap and flimsy. Put your CD player... Or your CD in it. Don't put another CD player into it. That is known as CD player inception and will cause explosions. And, yeah, it just plays it. Now, these were very popular in the days when CD was kind of the top level of listening to music, really. Um, then they came with mini CDs, didn't they? And then digital files, which made all of these kind of pointless. But uh, could be handy for me if it works, because I can use it to just sort of test audio CDs and things. And I have indeed tested it, specifically with one of my girlfriend's old albums I found up in the garage. Uh, it was Alanis Morissette. If you're wondering, I forget the name of the album, it's the one with Ironic on. You know, the one which uh, has all the lyrics, the very little irony in. It's annoying, isn't it? Anyway, <clears throat> the question is, how much was this? It was <gasps> £14. It's a CD player, they're not wrong. Battery compartment faulty. Oh, you think the battery compartment's faulty, do you, Lieutenant Carruthers? Well, let's have a look, shall we? And yeah, you're fucking right, because one of the springs is missing. Simple as that. Um, yeah, there should be a spring on there, and there isn't. I don't know if you can make that out, actually. I can't get that in the light. There we are. So, yeah, there needs to be a spring attached there so that uh, you get, you know, what we in the trade call a connection. Um, the problem is, it's not a massive failure as these things go, because I did test it with a um, mains adapter, and... Yeah, it's not hard to get these things to work. I did just stick a bit of foil in, tin foil, and it actually did start up, so it did kind of work. However, strictly speaking, this is correct. They were right to return it, so this is actually broken or not quite right. But I still think for a pound, I'm pretty happy with that because I genuinely didn't have a small or handy CD player and that may come in useful down the right, uh, down the line, probably for, I don't know, checking Redbook Audio and old video games or something. Anyway, good stuff. Get over there. Still, still pretty good though so far. Still pretty good. Next, something very simple indeed. How can this go bloody wrong? Almost as simple as the cable. It is merely a one meter mains charger. That's it. Urgh. Rip tear end, yes. So plug that into the mains, plug that into your phone. Basically, it's like a USB adapter, except these all built in, obviously. And it says iPad on it. That means you could plug an iPad into it. I think we'd kind of work that out, but hey, thanks. We always like a bit of confirmation, so yeah iPhone, iPad, iPod, hmm, not so much that one anymore, easily connects to your Apple Lightning devices. When are Apple going to change that for something that, you know, actually transfers data quicker? They're not. They're going to go entirely wireless, aren't they? Anyway, uh, not working, that says. £16. That seems a lot for this, doesn't it? Mind you, the cable on its own was 18 there, if you want the three metre one, so whoop. Um... Hmm... You see, again, I was expecting this to work because there's not a lot to go wrong, is there? But I tell you what, you've seen it coming. It's totally dead. Totally dead. Nothing comes in. It gives nothing at all. It's also weirdly wobbly here, but I don't know if that's the design or not. But yeah, it supplies no electricity to this end whatsoever. It is a useless bastard, and it must be slapped by its grandmother until it gets a job. Yep, absolutely no good whatsoever. Fortunately, the next item is not affected by that and may or may not work on its own merits. Obviously, that's the way reality works. It is a power bank. 
Ooh, from Black Web, which I think is another Arista thing, actually. Uh, I must have gone into the bottom on this one. Yes, I didn't do. Definitely another Arista thing. Literally, he's got Arista technical support on the back. Here we go. Open, you swine. Yes. Yeah, big old uh, power bank. These things, more and more useful as time is going on, and we are relying more and more on our phones. You don't want them to uh, lose charge. For instance, if you bought a train ticket, and it's one of those annoying digital-only ones, if you run out of juice on your phone, that's going to be fun city Tennessee, isn't it? Uh, oh, that's not the button, that's the button. This one is three out of four charged. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and it was when I got it, actually. So, this was £18. Same as the cable, and it doesn't say anything. It just says it's been. It says defective merchandise returned. Simple as. What um, capacity is this? Actually, it should send it somewhere. Oh, there we are. Ten thousand milliamp hours. Yeah, you get a bit of a charge off that. I mean, it's got a bit of weight to it. Obviously, it's not the smallest thing, although it's fairly flat. But you can stick it in a bag if you're travelling. Could be very useful. It's got two outputs on it: the USB and uh, the little micro USB in the middle is one you use to charge it. Uh, you'll be very familiar with this setup if you used something like this before. The question is: Okay, okay. It comes on and says it's charged, but can you charge other items from it? from both ports, remember we're being sticklers here, the answer is yes, you certainly bloody can. I'm not sure that was loud enough, let's do it again. That's better. Uh, yeah, it works perfectly. So that's nice, I've got another backup battery now. You can never have too many of these unless you had like 40 million of them and like it would just take up a thousand million warehouses and oh god that would just be a nightmare i'm gonna stick with just this one and the other one i've got that's in my bag so that was nice you see it's going well so far all these things that have been returned but were actually absolutely fine how long will this continue for well nobody knows as we look at all no one for all oh god i can't get this in black slab I mean, if you've got, like, a room in your house that needs a black slab in it, buy a one-for-all black slab and all your black slab <laughs> dreams will come true. What it actually is, of course, is an indoor aerial. For digital tellies and that, 15-mile range. For crystal clear reception, wide angle, 5G, 3G, 4G, 5G LTE filter included. Also filters out bad thoughts and weird smells. And full HD compatible. Well, you'd hope so. It's an aerial that picks up digital, innit? Um, there we are. I think this is one of one for alls. Let's explain one for all briefly. Basically, one for all make an awful lot of different um, indoor aerials. And I think this is kind of their top of the range one. I think it's the biggest, most expensive. How much was it? Uh, £24. Hmm. And it is indeed quite a large boy. Out you come. Whoop. Comes with this own power adapter, obviously. And, uh, you know, RF connection to actually connect it to things, that's important. And here it is. Slightly knocked about, I did notice. Um, but yeah, there you are. It's got some... it's definitely been used, because it's got that kind of sort of dirt thing on it. So I thought, well, it must work. And surely did it stop working later? Maybe that's it. So all it says is, describes it as an aerial, 24 quid, faulty, not working. Faulty, not working. And you know what? <coughs> They're absolutely bloody right. It's dead as a doornail. Um, this works perfectly and gives out the full currents and all the normal stuff, but this does absolutely nothing. I think, due to the condition of it, they kind of used it for a while, and then it just died, you know, like a month or something after they'd bought it, so they took it back to the shop, which is fair enough, really. I mean, look, there's, oh, there's something dried on it or something, actually. Um, but yeah, I tested it on the television, uh, which uh, tested with another indoor aerial I have, a really cheap shit one. They got it a picture. Didn't get all the channels, and it cut in and out a bit. But this gave us absolutely nothing whatsoever. It was like plugging a sandwich in for all the good it did. Ah, oh, bless. Well, you can go to the graveyard in the sky, it's reserved specifically for black slabs. And this... I'm going to put this in a drawer in case one day I get something else which specifically wants, uh, where are we, 5 volts at 1 amp with that connector. And I never will, and I'll sit in the drawer until the day I die. Which will probably not be that far in the future, because my entire house will be filled with useless bloody mains adapters I've kept, and my house will collapse and kill me. That is my prediction for the future. Anyway, <clears throat> that was a failure. But what about this wireless keyboard and mouse combo? 
bum, 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 bum. For clutter-free computing and constant changing of fucking batteries, it's a wireless keyboard and mouse combo. Very basic, O and N, you know, or on, whoever the notes pronounce it. Cushioned keys for easier typing. 2.4 gigahertz wireless connectivity. Wireless receiver stores safety. Hang on, wireless receiver stores safety when not in use. My house is really unsafe because I'm, when I'm not using the wireless receiver, it stores all the safety in the house. Knives spring out of the walls. Um, compatible with most operating systems and 1200 DPI resolution. Presumably for the mouse and not the keyboard. But most spectacularly, whoever returned this has left um, some slight uh, red coloured hair under the... Um, <laughs> you can make that out actually under the tape there so we can do a dna test and then still not know who they are because how would we we don't have like a bloody dna database not in my house anyway right Ugh. Ugh. oh hang on we haven't read the thing have we 19 pounds okay not not as good a value as the pound ones don't think but parts missing and it's a keyboard set. Well, actually, they put the, those. Those are transposed. But I'm sure it makes sense. So parts are missing. Now, I'm not going to say anything yet specifically, but many of you at home, as soon as you saw parts missing, will be thinking, "I know what's bloody happened here." And that is exactly what I thought. And we shall check in a minute. Right. <laughs> Especially any of you who've ever worked in retail with this kind of thing. Um, so it comes with batteries, brand new, which is nice. Good, good, good. Uh, here is the keyboard of dreams. It's a bit soft and crappy and cheap, but hey, it'll you know, do the job, especially if you're testing or something. The mouse ain't bad, actually. It fits quite nicely in the hand. And it's sort of made of cheap plastic, but it's got enough um, sort of indentations, things on the side, to actually feel right to use, which is pretty good. Batteries go in here, obviously. This uses just one AAA. This must also use one AAA, unless it was the batteries that were missing, and it ain't. Yeah, there we are, nice and simple. So, what is the part that's missing? Now, my assumption, and which will be the same assumption that many of you made, will be they just didn't find the bloody USB receiver bit, because they're really difficult to find on most of these they hide them away. In fact, this one is, I mean, let's go back to uh, standard here, remove that, it's this. There we are. There is the little USB dongle that you plug into your laptop, your PC, or your face, if you're a cyborg, and then and way it works. And when I plugged this in, yeah, it worked perfectly. So uh, there don't seem to be any missing parts whatsoever, and it all works perfectly. So I am assuming, like many of you did, and we were all right, they just couldn't find where the bloody wireless receiver went. <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. So there we are. That is another one for a pound and another success. Play the success noise. Ah, oh, wonderful. Yeah. Oh, this is also right for the moment. I've got loads of these from Poundland from previous videos, but there we are. Now I can fill another part of my house with old keyboards. Hooray! <laughs> it just keeps getting more keyboardy. Ah, good stuff. Um, more and more success. But can we keep this winning streak up with Black Web again? Who made the battery? Well, it's all ours, doing it. USB webcam. Plug and play. PC and Mac compatible, USB, LED ring light. That's a good idea, isn't it? Let's put it out. Uh, oh, yeah, I've lost the bloody receipt for this one, which is annoying. It just said it wouldn't connect, if I remember. And I've had to look up the um, amount, which was basically as to still sell this in a different box for £24. So this was a £24 webcam. Not weight, that was price. Um, very much not used. Look, because the uh, protective film is still on it. And yeah, there's the bit you, you know, balance on your monitor or the bit of your laptop or whatever. This bit lights up like a big lighty boy. And there's USB. Yeah, it's quite a good idea to have a ring light around it, isn't it? As long as you can turn it off, which uh, you can. And that's a bit of a spoiler, isn't it? Because how would I know that you couldn't turn it off if I hadn't used it and it worked? Yes, it worked absolutely perfectly, this. There were no problems whatsoever. So yeah, I don't know what happened just somebody had a really old computer or some USB problem couldn't get it to work but it worked a bloody treat for me in fact I'm going to do a little bit of this review recorded on this webcam this was a terrible idea 
I apologise to all humans who have ever been born. Uh, yeah, um, this this is going to look great on your big screen, isn't it? <laughs> Watch this on the smallest, oldest phone you can find. Yeah, it's not the greatest of webcams, frankly, but there we are. I mean, it's cheap and it gives an image, I suppose. But uh, frankly, whatever you've got that's um, built into your laptop will do a better job than this. But if you're on a desktop and you don't have a camera at all, I mean... It exists, and the ring light works. You know, hey everyone, let's let's get some high quality in close action from this terrifying knockoff Mr. Bean Lego figure. Yeah, it's not really working, is it? Um, very poor, but there we go. At least it works. Oh, and incidentally, uh, this light does not go off. You cannot turn off the ring light at all. I don't know why I said you could earlier. I was mad. So yeah, as you may have noticed. Not the greatest webcam, but hey, it's cheap, isn't it? What do you bloody expect? Look, Mix Wireless here next. Um, yet more wireless headphones. Won't charge is the reason these were given in. £26. No, £6. What? £6? How are these only £6? Were they, like, on clearance or something? Or, I don't know, sold with something else? Ooh, I've got no idea. That seems very cheap for me. Because, look, 24 hours playtime, Bluetooth wireless freedom, activate Google Assistant or Siri, hands-free calling, integrated headphone controls, foldable headphone design, wrinkles on a sofa. Look! Absolutely amazing. And you even get a three and a half millimeter audio cable. That genuinely seems like quite a lot for six quid. Although, of course, apparently it won't charge. So, may not all be positive. So here we go. Yep. They fold up like that. Then they fold out. Then you put them on your ears and you press buttons and things. Hours of fun for everyone. Uh, nice and simple. Weird lilac color. And goes with that. Very, very easy indeed. Until, of course, you try bloody using them. So you plug them into charge. Uh, via, it was, it was like micro USB at the bottom if I remember this one, yeah here we are. Plug them into charge, a red light comes on, that's your lot. The battery in them is completely dead, completely dead. Holds no charge whatsoever, Bluetooth is useless, uh, yeah, just no good whatsoever. So that is very much a... <coughs> However, it's not quite that simple because you can still use them as headphones, just wired, because you just plug that in. Now they just act perfectly, and uh, yeah, they work as a wired set. Obviously not very good if you've bought them as wireless, um, but I'll tell you what, the sound's not that bad from them either. Not terrible. Um, you're not really going to want to sit and listen to your favourite tunes on for hours and hours and hours, but, uh, you know, if you're on the train or something, does the job. Um, but yeah, that is technically a fail, because whilst I can get them to work through the cable, the idea is they are wireless, and they are very much not, due to Mr. Battery having tragically gone to join the choir invisible. Right, next up, it is more headphones from Mix. Why not? Mix headphones, left one, no work. That sounds a bit like it was written by Tarzan, but uh, actually, um, to be brutally honest, when you're working retail and you have to do everything at 500 miles an hour, you don't often have time to uh, work out beautiful bloody grammar. Right, oh, what have we got then? in-ear headphones, plug in a second set of headphones. I don't want to, I just bought these ones. Um, right, so these aren't the wireless, ah yes, right, I remember these now. So, these are not wireless. These are just an old school pair of earbuds. Plug that into your music device, maybe a portable CD player, and then stick one of those in one ear, one of those in the other ear, and you can listen to music. And if you see here, there is an extra little bonus. You can plug a second set of earphones in, which is what they were um, mentioning earlier. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot to go wrong here again, until of course the cable goes iffy and you get no bloody connection. And I'll tell you what, that's exactly what's happened to these. The right headphone does not work. Simple as. And it's due to the cable being dodgy, because if you put it in your ear and the music's going and it's just dead, and you keep going like this with the cable, if you get it in an exact position, the sound comes on. And then if you let it go, the sound goes off again. So yeah, bad connection. It is not making the circuit, and that is the end of that. Bloody useless, unfortunately. So that's a shame, and that is very much a big... <coughs> because they are no use to man, beast, mineral, or fauna. Right, away with you, because we're not, oh no, I was gonna say we're on the last item. We are totally not on the last item. I haven't been keeping count. Am I doing 10? Am I doing 11? I don't know, but I do know this is a radio. It says so on the box. Portable AM FM radio. Digital radio in it. 
looks like a very cheap one to be brutally honest with you. Um, oh god, this is hard to make out. Uh, Thirteen pounds. Yeah. God, do you remember when digital radios first came out and they all had weird bits of wood and a thousand buttons you didn't use on the front? They all cost like nine hundred quid. Rubbish. Um, yep. Description radio. Reason stopped. Faulty? Stop? Foot? Stop? St that. That's the reason. <laughs> so, it is indeed just a radio. Mains connector, nice and simple. And here it is. Yes, very plasticky. Real cheap feeling bugger. But hey, if it picks up bloody radio stations. Also, brilliantly, if you want to use it via batteries, it takes three D cells. Not 3D cells, but D cells, three of them. Um, which, frankly, I don't think I've really used until I've been... The only time I've used those in recent memory is when I'm reviewing stuff from the 80s. Um, but there we are. Apparently they are still used sometimes. Horrible, horrible, horrible cheap feeling handle. But it does the job, and it's super cheap, in it? So, I plugged it in, and it worked bloody perfectly for about 30 seconds. Then the speaker went berserk and just sort of went It was still tuned in and you could sort of, well you couldn't make it out, but you could sort of hear there was something talking. It was like the speaker had just gone mad. Then it went dead and it has never turned on again. <laughs> so apparently if you leave it for months after returning it to Asda you can get another 30 seconds out of it. Yeah, this is unfortunately a massive... Yep, big old fail on that one. No good, big shame tragic. In a way, I'd quite like to take it apart and see if there's anything that could be fixed, but in a more real way, it probably contains like two microchips and some wires and there's nothing a bloody do in it and I wouldn't understand it anyway. So, that's a bloody shame. And yes, I did try the headphones, um, but by the time I'd got the headphones, this had stopped squawking and the thing had just died completely and now it just won't even turn on. So, <laughs> been and gone, that is the end. Away with you to the dustbin of dreams. And finally, I think this was 10 items. Maybe we've got a bonus one. It's one of those days. It is Mix Red Headphones. Yay. Um, headphones not connecting. Simple as that. So these are wireless. Basically, these are very, very... No, wait, no, wait, 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 wait. What am I talking about? These aren't wireless. These are on-ear wired headphones. Arr, yes, I'm getting confused with the other one. Of course. Because I wouldn't have used them and shown them on camera if they were wireless, because they'd be the same as these ones, wouldn't they? Instead, they're just very similar. So, let's have a look. Whoop. Yep, they are basically identical design, except these ones are wireless. Well, broken wireless, these ones. And these ones are not. These are quite simply just wired. And look, you can plug them into themselves sit there and listen to your own death broadcast to you from the future. Yeah, don't do that, it's freaky. Um, the cable's quite nice, it's all braided. Sound quality you would expect to be identical to the other ones, and indeed it is, because they work. I genuinely cannot understand how somebody could not get this to connect. Like, it's the most, it's like it's been around since like, good god, decades, hasn't it? Doesn't this come from like the 50s or something? This kind of I can't remember. Well, this one's got a mic in it, so maybe not. But um, yeah, you just you just plug it in, it works. And I plugged it in a couple of things, and it worked perfectly. So uh, I've got no answer to that whatsoever. Maybe they thought they were wireless. <laughs> like, this isn't showing up on my Bluetooth list. That seems unlikely, doesn't it? But yeah, no answer to that whatsoever. Just absolutely fine headphones, which means we get to make the nice noise. Not at all bad. How much were these originally? I'm not actually. That was ten pounds. Ten pounds for those, and yeah, I wouldn't have paid ten pounds for them, but one pound. Ding. Yep, good stuff. So there we are. What conclusions can be drawn from this? Uh, well, basically, a lot of stuff gets returned to shops that isn't actually defective. I think we knew that before we came in, to be brutally honest, but now we have it confirmed on a very small scale with a tiny sample size in a completely non-scientific manner. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, for what, for paying £10 for this lot, I've done quite well. I'm not sure I actually needed any of these items. <laughs> Would I have bought them if I wasn't making a video? No! But the fact remains, uh, it was quite a good thing at the end of the day. Ah, what jolly fun.
Now the time has come for me to text everyone I know and ask them if they want any bloody headphones. <clears throat> Subscribe for more.